Fortnite chapter 3 is here and FPS once again is a little wonky. So today I'm going to be helping that for you. If the video helps, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Let's see how fast we can get 100 likes on this video. But getting straight into this, we're going to start with our video settings. So open display here, you want to have your window mode on full screen. This is non-negotiable. You cannot use windowed full screen. Maybe it's easier to tab out. You know, maybe windowed is even easier to tab out. But trust me, full screen is going to give you the lowest input lag and the best one-to-one -one response time. Res Resolution, you want to have this set to your monitor's native resolution. So whatever your default monitor resolution is, mine's 1920 by 1080. You can, to be honest, drop this so you can go to 1600 by 900 or 1280 by 720 if you are struggling for frames. But for the most part, I would just keep this at its default. That obviously does not apply to people using stretch resolution. V-Sync, turn this off unless your PC is configured for V-Sync. For the most part, you will not want to use this unless you're literally averaging less than 60 FPS. In that case, yeah, you probably want to set your system up for vsync but it isn't just as simple as enable it here you have to do it in your monitor your monitor settings is probably in video control panel as well or your amd control panel it's a little bit technical you probably have to watch a whole nother video for that or comment down below if you want to see me help you frame rate limit set this to your monitor's refresh rate that's the basic rule here standard rule monitor's refresh rate or at least one above your monitor's refresh rate a lot of pros do that it gives your computer a little bit more breathing room without actually you know pushing it too far and then it's out of sync of your monitor's refresh rate so I have mine on 240. The rule kind of doesn't apply for 240. So there's nothing really above that. The next step is 360 FPS. So if you have 240, don't go on 360. It's too much of a jump. But you know, if you're on 144, you can play 160 or 165. And I guess the same goes for 60. If you're on 60 hearts and you again are on a V-Sync system, cap this on 60. I think V-Sync does that for you anyway. And as for unlimited, don't use this. Like never use this in game. It's going to be very unstable and actually lower your input lag. But if you're in creative, you can go ahead and use unlimited. It, again, depends on your system, but for the most part, you should be good. Rendering mode. I have mine on performance mode, of course, like everyone's using this. Maybe if you have an AMD graphics card, you can try DX12. It's not an option here, but I'll show you where to enable it. Nonetheless, performance mode is the best. It's going to give you the best performance, but what you need to do is actually configure your DX11 as well. Basically, your settings in DirectX11 affect your settings in performance mode, even if you have all of these on low. So we'll get to that in a minute, but going down first, the graphics, brightness, I actually have mine maxed out on 150 i think is best for visibility use interface contrast don't mess with this i have my color blend mode on try to note 4 i think this is this was the best for last season i think it's the same this season it hasn't really changed 3d resolution it's actually scientifically technically proven um that having this on 99 or anywhere at least above 90 but below 100 is going to improve your fps it's actually gonna do that so your one percent lows highs they're, they're gonna be higher you're gonna get better performance so honestly set this to 99 it's a little little trick and if you have a really bad pc you can actually set this to like 75 percent but it's probably not gonna look good ignore this as you can see it's grayed out view distance have this on medium if you have this on medium obviously you can have it on near it's gonna make your game look a little worse if it's on there and actually some people do say having this on medium helps kind of render the further textures so like guns and stuff before you get to them and essentially what it's doing is almost pre-rendering them and what it would do is when you actually maybe let's say where a fight is there's a lot of loot on the floor so that loot needs to render it's gonna start rendering as you're literally coming up to the loot and what that can do is then drop your frames if you can render it when you're a little further away and you're probably not engaging in the fight yet when you actually get to the fight it's already rendered and you're not going to be getting any fps drop so medium is what is recommended a lot of pros are on this strat textures have them on low meshes have them on low show fps doesn't matter obviously the less you have on your screen i'll get into that in a second but it will benefit your fps this really doesn't matter though report performance that's make sure to have that off going over the volume real quick we're going to get into the dx11 stuff but going over the volume this is just what i have it's very subjective this works good for my headset sound quality i have one on high it's going to give you basically the best competitive advantage because you can hear more sounds and more footsteps but the issue with this is it will decrease performance it literally says here but may decrease performance so if you have a bad pc turn off anything like if you have an rtx card for the most part you'll be fine with this everything else you can kind of have off visual sound effects i do have on again this is subjective it depends if you want it on or not it will decrease performance it doesn't mention it here but yes this will decrease performance massively um a lot of pros are using it though because it's a great competitive advantage it's really handy i use it with high sound quality and i have no issues really in my frames it's like a 15 fps difference maybe going into game settings make sure you have your matchmaking region set to your actual region opposed to auto having it set to your actual region basically helps the game recognize your closest sub server rather than just connecting you to like auto random server in europe it will connect you to the closest one so for me that's london for some people that may be somewhere in like i don't know where the servers are like switzerland france ireland scrolling down the 
building. You may think this doesn't affect your frames, but it does. Disable pre-edit option, have that turned off. This will affect your frame. Your edits are going to feel a lot snappier having this turned off. People also do say that auto confirm edits can change your frames. I don't think so. A lot of pros are on it. But then again, like clicks, one of the best pros mechanically has this turned off. Make sure Nvidia highlights are turned off, peripheral lighting off, FOV minimum and maximum. The lower you have this, the less your game has to render because obviously there's a bigger field of view and your game has to render more textures. So having this lower will benefit your FPS, you know, when you're sprinting and such. But I have mine on max out because I just like how it looks. Totally up to you. Replays have these all turned off. Every single one. And actually this season, they enabled themselves again. I don't know why that happened. Definitely check this. For me, they enabled themselves again. These are meant to be off. That's crazy that that happened. Um, energy saving, turn these both off as well. It's going to really do your frames wonders. And actually game UI, I did mention it, but having less things on your screen does actually benefit your performance. And even your reticle here can make your performance worse if you've got them on the wrong setting. So copy what I've got here. These are all the best. The main thing is damage numbers and your reticle damage feedback. Have that turned off. Number scale, it's good to turn this down if you can, but I have mine on 100. I think that's a default. HUD scale, the lower this is, probably the better, but for the most part, it's not that big of a difference. But make sure you copy my current settings here. So everything here, copy. Trust me, you're not going to need anything. If there's anything that you clearly like care about, like quest progress, have that on. But for the most part, for you comp players, people that are playing arena, it's not going to matter. And now what we're going to do, we're going to head into Diet X11. I'm going to restart my game. All right, we're in Diet X11. These settings are very, very important. What you're going to do is, first of all, don't worry about your auto set. Don't mess with this. Isn't going to do anything for you. It actually isn't very good. So uh, change your quality preset. You may have a custom option, but if you don't, just set it to low at first and then changing these settings below it will make it a custom preset essentially. So I guess in for most cases, set this to low if it isn't already on custom. You want to turn anti-aliasing off, this off, temporal super resolution off. These are only good for like the really high end, like 4090 RTX super TI $4,000 graphics cards. But even then, like it's not going to give you the best performance. No one's doing that for competitive or even like generally half decent casual play. Don't bother with it. Have literally all of these off. Like just make sure they're all off. That's that's the key thing here. For the most part, they should be, but just make sure they're all off because some may be on and you can't change them in performance mode. So ensure they're all off here. Everything obviously besides view distance, keep it on medium. Everything we already previously mentioned. Some very important things down here. NVIDIA reflex low latency. I have mine turned off. Now, this is something you have to test and I know that is very annoying to hear. For me, having this turned off is actually been better for me. I have low latency in my NVIDIA control panel turned off and I'm going to do an NVIDIA control panel video probably tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. It's very important. That works in tandem with this setting right here. But for the most part, you guys will probably want this on on plus boost. For most people that have, you know, any card that isn't like you know, a 20 series RTX card, have this on on plus boost. Anyone else, you may not even have this option. But if you do and you have a bad graphics card and you know you do, have this turned off. For me, I have a good graphics card, but the way I've got this set up in sync with my control panel, my NVIDIA control panel, actually works better. I get lower latency and this reflex low latency stuff actually does the opposite. It's counterintuitive. So I have mine off for the most part have this on on plus boost but it's worth testing but i guess wait for my next video because that will help but once you've done all that you're pretty much good to go change your rendering mode back to performance mode press apply restart now and last but not least before that restarts we're gonna go into our library so go open up your epic games launcher and go down to these three dots on your fortnite application you want to find options and make sure everything here is turned off besides the required obviously this you, you can't untick this and if you can don't um besides pre-download streamed assets keep that one on what it does is it installs assets that would usually be streamed during gameplay so basically what it would do if you have it turned off it's downloading assets in the game and like graphical textures and such during the game this is done to spread load but what it actually does is creates more load when you're actually fighting so if you're running around the map and it's downloading them it's fine you know it isn't doing too much at the start it's a little less harsh on your pc in very like lightweight casual moments but it's actively downloading all this memory and storage on your system every single game when you could just pre-download them so you could download everything currently one download done and then it never does it again during the gameplay it's out the way you're not going to lose frames because of it so enable this everything else turn off obviously besides you know these two just, just just copy this and what you can also do is now underneath options go to manage you can actually make sure to copy all this um but you can actually add these launch options now i'm not gonna include them in the description that honestly i'll be real it feels like a placebo i think it was proven to be a placebo but placebo works you know people say there's a study done placebo works so i have them in here it's not going to be the be all or end all but if you want to add them in hopes that one day they do something just add them you literally just type it out dash this space dash no splash dash 
you know, and you can find them online, but I'm not gatekeeping, just I don't think it's relevant, but I may as well mention it because they're here.